Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and in this video I will answer some questions that I got on my blog and videos and messages and mails. So, the first question was about the, the 3D uh, pop-up uh, cards I made and uh, uh, the question was uh, what dies I have used and here is a bench and uh, this umbrella. And these dice are from Marianna Design. So these are really fun and great to use. And I also got some more questions on that video. And that was what scissors I use for fussy cutting. And um, I use this um, uh, embroidery scissor. And it's uh, from Kai. And uh, I find it really great to use. And I use this for small pieces when I fussy cut uh, very small. And uh, this also from um, uh, Marta Stewart, I think. <laughs> I have to see, yeah. Uh, it's also great. It's a very sharp and uh, um, you see the edges here. So I really love this scissor as well. And that's for a bit larger fussy cutting. So these are the scissors I use. So, But you can use any kind of scissors. Just uh, uh, find some you like that you find easy to work with. So, and um, then I also got a question if I made a jewelry, jewelry I can't pronounce it, jewelry box and uh, I have not, <laughs> not as I remember now anyway. So, but I think there are many videos you can look after the boxes. So that was that one. And I also got a question for a hanging album. This I haven't made a video on. It's not all um, all um, uh, things I make video on. I post it on my blog. So the question here was if I have made a tutorial on this album. And uh, I have not. <laughs> I have um, uh, took some pictures when I made one of the pages and uh, how to build it up and all the pages are built up exactly the same way so I can show you maybe a bit here so take this out of the way so this can stand up like so and it can also be hanged uh, I can't get it all in camera here in frame but it uh, folds out so it's a six month for each side so if I can show this maybe, uh, on each uh, page there is a postcard and here you can write something or uh, put a picture in. And um, it's also a calendar. So the calendar is behind here. So you can take some notes and write here. Maybe put a picture behind. So this is a really easy and fast album to make. And uh, I placed it uh, all the pages here on uh, hinges on three sides. And this is a wooden album. And now for, I forgot to take it out. <laughs> As uh, Kaiser Craft, one moment I will take it out so you can see it. So here is how it looks like. It comes uh, four in a pack. And this I got from uh, Creative Scrapping. It was a design team project. So you can get it there and I can post a link to their shop below and they ship all over the world. Just uh, mail them and ask uh, for uh, the shipping cost. And it's uh, this uh, Kaser scrapbook album. Looks like so. So uh, here are many holes, holes you can use but I just used two of them to hang it. So that was that album. And I also got some questions on um, uh, the video how to build a photo mini album with the old Curiosity Shop part 2. And that was um, uh, uh, the Claudine Helmut uh, Studio Multimat. So I will show a bit how I used that in the end of the video. And um, on part 2, now part 8, in the same album, uh, the colors I used for the album, the plain colors, and uh, I'm sorry I don't remember it now, but I used a lot of uh, Basil P Prismatics. 
I use that in all my albums and cards and so I really love that paper. So I hope, hope you can find something that match. So I think I also use some different papers from other lines but uh, <laughs> I don't remember it now. So, and then it was a question um, if I will make a, a tutorial on the birdhouse and the mini album I'm making. So there will be a tutorial on my blog how to build up uh, the birdhouse, uh, but uh, not for the mini album. I'm sorry for that. And then it was a blog question. Um, if I have a, a tutorial on the bird song address book, and uh, I'm sorry I didn't uh, film it when I made it, so there is no tutorial for that. But maybe you can figure it out how to make it. So make it your own style. And then there is a question on Tim Holtz pediments. Uh, if um, uh, she uh, must use a crease pad. And uh, I think it's best when there are crease lines in the dies. It's best to use a, a crease uh, a pad because uh, else it can cut over. So for the next um, um, if I will make more mini album tutorials and I will do that later when I find the time to do it. So, then I got a question on a paper bag mini album and um, if uh, she should uh, bind it before or after she embellished it. So I haven't made those albums, but um, I think it would be most easy to bind it after you embellish it, because then you can glue the pages down with uh, holes or hinges or whatever you use. So, but uh, do what you think are the best and uh, try and fail. I've done that many times. I fail very often and then I try again. And uh, usually it uh, goes well. So. And um, then it was a question on the video how to make a paper crab. And um, if I can make a tutorial on the explosion, explosion box, or explosion box, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, I haven't made any of those boxes, but I think there are many uh, tutorials on YouTube. If you just search on YouTube, then you, uh, you can find it, I think. <laughs> so and uh, then it was um, uh, the tutorial on how to make a page a thread binding and binding cover for the photo mini album and um, I've posted uh, the link below to the finished album she wanted to see the finished album and if you have trouble to find um, uh, um, videos on uh, channels, you can search for it if you go to the home page uh, and then you search for uh, the video you want or you can find it maybe in play playlist. I have playlist for uh, Graphic 45 and Tim Holtz and uh, Scrapbook Tutorials and then you can go in there and uh, look for them there. So then you can find it. So that was the questions for that and uh, now I will answer the question for uh, the Claudine Helmut Multimax and how I use it. So that's this one and many ask me if they can use something else and you can use this glue and seal, seal. and uh, here is a gloss fish finish if you like that and here is a matte finish and this matte finish and this are almost the same. This I think is a bit thinner and you can also use mm, um, Mod Podge, if you like that. So, so just find out what you like best to use. So, the question was how I glue things down and how I use it, if I could tell a bit more about it. So, I have some cutouts here. So, I usually cut out the images first and then I go around with a marker 
like this and on this li light paper I think it's too dark with a black marker so I often leave it like so and then take the multi mat on and here I haven't etched it so I just show you a bit here so I go around here and um, maybe you can see the difference here it creates a more depth to it when you take a black li uh, liner around. So after I do that I take the multi mat on and the way I do it I use my fingers but you can use your brush and you can take one side first and let it dry and then the other but I'm too lazy I want it fast so I just take it on both sides like so and I take one or two layers of this, it depends on what I'm going to use it for. So if you lay this down now it can stick and it can leave something outside for the glue. So I find something and place it up like so S to let it dry. And um, you can also take it right on the paper here, the multi mat, and then cut it out but I th think it's a bit hard to my fingers. It, uh, it's a bit more hard to uh, to cut into when you are taking the multi mat. But if you like to do that, you do that. So it just depends on uh, what you like and what you think are the most easy way to do it. And uh, if you want to glue an image down, for example if I want to glue this down on here, uh, I'm not going to use it here, so I'll just show you a bit on the paper here. Maybe I have this paper strip here that I want to glue down on here. So then I just place, take some here, place this over, and you can also take some glue over here. So you can use it as a glue. And uh, uh, some people have asked me, um, um, it start to bubble up when they do larger uh, pieces and that can happen because it's difficult to glue it all down and then smear it out and not create bubbles and then you can take some glue on the back side here and then let it dry and then and when it's dry now I can glue it down here but when it's dry you take more glue on the back side because then uh, the paper is living a bit, I'm not sure how to explain that. But then it sto uh, stopped, um, um, how do you say that, crimp maybe? <laughs> so then you can glue it down for the larger pieces and then it won't bubble so much. But you have to work a bit with it, so take out the bubbles like so. So I hope that makes sense. So. Uh, you can also make a spray out of it and then I take maybe one uh, up here with a multi mat and the rest of water and here I used a mini mister and this you can use all over I've uh, let it stay for 14 days and it uh, still works it doesn't uh, uh, <laughs> I'm lost for words again um, but it, uh, it's open <laughs> So if you maybe want to um, have some glitter on a flower here, I made a flower from paper and uh, I want glitter on it. Then you can spray on some of this and you take your glitter just sparkle a bit over where you want it, like so and I know the glitter doesn't show up in the camera but it's really beautiful so maybe it shows up I'm not sure but uh, I really love this glitter here and it's a new one from Til Tim Holtz it's a distress a dry glitter and I've used it a lot so and I think and I hope I've answered your questions and uh, if I misunderstand anything, just uh, please ask me again. So, thank you so much for watching and I wish you all a happy and a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. I'm back again for a moment. 
I forgot to tell that uh, I use uh, the Multimat a lot in my mini album tutorials and especially in the first episode so if you want to uh, see more of it you can look up for the mini album tutorials and uh, watch the maybe uh, two first episodes so then I show there I show you a bit more so bye bye again <laughs>